Hey guys, it's ESPN001 here, welcoming you to my 38th Platinum Trophy, Rise of the Guardians. This game has kind of a bad trophy delay, unfortunately. But anyway, so what do I have to say about this Platinum? There's two things left to do, We've got to pick this guy up and then kill these enemies. To be honest, it's a pretty easy Platinum Trophy. It's actually a pretty easy game. It's another sort of kid-friendly game, you know, based off of a movie. And it's a very easy Platinum. There isn't really that much you have to do to get it. You basically you basically just have to beat the game and complete all these missions in each area. And none of them are really difficult at all, but this Platinum does take a while longer than a lot of these kids' games that I get the Platinums in. Which is unfortunate. It does take a while longer because... Also, there's a couple of trophies I'll show you in a moment, but there's the Platinum. But, uh, it, like I said, it's not difficult, but it does kind of take a while just because there's a lot of stuff you have to do in the game. Like, you basically have to clear all five of the in-game realms to 100%, and you have to defeat the boss, like the final boss guy, like six times throughout the course of the game. And then you have to go do a little bit of cleanup as well, but it's really, it's very easy. It does just take a while, which is kind of annoying, but hey, you know what? I don't know why that happened. That was kind of weird, kind of glitchy. Uh, but yeah, it's a, for the most part, it's an easy Platinum Trophy. I highly suggest going for it, even though it does take a while longer. It can be played by up to four people in co-op, even though I'm really not sure how good of a purpose that is, because your friendly AI in the game is actually pretty good, surprisingly. It's better than, like, a lot of games that I've played before. Like, the friendly AI is actually not just mentally retarded. Or just... No, that's not the right phrase for it. Just the a the in the friendly AI is actually kind of intelligent, whereas the enemy AI is actually pretty unintelligent. So as for the trophies themselves, all of these are pretty much store are going to be earned along the way. All seven of those are. They're all really really easy to get. I mean, I platinum this in like two three days. It's still not too bad. This one, these are just missions where you have to clear a large group of enemies in gates that are like the transports for the game, like teleporters. These are all the various types of missions. You have to complete a certain amount in each realm. Uh, none of them are difficult, but these are really boring because they last like two to three minutes long and you have to defend somebody. You're just going to keep mashing the X button because this is a, uh, this is, <coughs> what's it called? It's called a, uh, hack and slash game, pretty much. It's sort of a hack and slash game. Uh, level up that's earned along the way. That one you're probably going to get along the, maybe even before beating the main game, but either way you'll get it eventually. That one's pretty much guaranteed. Uh, that one can be kind of weird, as is that one. Those two are both kind of glitchy. I'm not really sure what to say because I got both of them along the way, but some people don't. Uh, that These are all the collectibles, and actually the collectibles are very easy in this game because they're all on the map. Like The locations of everything are on the map. Just they might be above or below you, so they're grayed out, but they're really easy to collect just because they you don't need a guide or anything for this game because they're all on the map, so that makes everything just so much easier. Uh, that one's guaranteed. This one, the 50-point combo, if you don't get it in the main game, you can always do it in the challenge mode, the challenges, but you'll probably get it during the course of the main game. And my suggestion for characters is to use the bunny and the sandman, the Sandman's really good at close range, and his square button, like, level, like, 6 attack when you unlock it is, like, a one-hit kill to most of the champion nightmares, which are tougher to kill. And he's just really good at close range, and the bunny's really good for range attacks. And he, it's good to do these in those protection missions, just try to get the high combo. I got, like, a 410 combo up in the North Pole region early on in the game, so, yeah, not difficult. Uh, these are all story-based. You'll get all those along the way. That one, you have to purchase all gems for all characters. You'll get more than enough, like, money in the game, which are crystals, to get it along the way, so don't worry. Same with that. You'll have well over that much by the end of the game. Uh, this one, you actually don't have to 100% the game. In fact, I got this, like, probably 70% of the way through the entire game. So, yeah. This one, you don't, you don't need a second player to do it. You can do it with uh, just one controller with the uh, AI. This one, actually, you'll have to, as long as you kill everything in the main game, then you'll have to just go into the balancing act challenges. 
and just fight in each of those five realms until you've killed all the champion nightmares because it's kind of random how they spawn. Uh, defeat Pitch in the Final Showdown, that's story-based, story-based. That one's really easy. Story-based, story-based, story-based. Yeah, I don't know. And then all of these are just various miscellaneous ones that you get along the way in a few of the areas, none of which are really difficult. So yeah, guys, that is it for the Rise of the Guardians Platinum. It's Platinum Trophy number 38. I haven't gotten one in a while. 2,529, I got my 2,500th trophy along the way. Level 18, 49% of the way through. 38 Platinums, 204 Golds, 565 Silver, 1,722 Bronzes. So that is it for Rise of the Guardians Platinum. And since I know that it won't fit... Rise of the Guardians, yeah. So, yeah, guys, that was a pretty easy Platinum Trophy. It does take a little while, but it's very easy. I highly suggest going for it. Uh, my next Platinum will either be potentially a Gamefly game, which I don't know what I would get next, but that's always a possibility. Or, if I could get some guys to cooperate and help me uh, finish up the last two trophies in COD Ghosts, because I have every intention to platinum Call of Duty Ghosts. I have every intention to do it, because I think I can, as I'm only missing Escape with a Relic and Escape while completing all challenges in Extinction. So, I don't know what'll come next, but I'll see you guys then.